Hi everyone, just another quick video showing the Buddy 3D camera for Core 1 that is installed on my Prusa XL. I don't see any videos on YouTube so I thought I will shoot a very quick one demonstrating how it works. You can see that this is attached magnetically and I've just rerouted the cables you know, through there and go through down there. So what I did is I used some zip ties and just you know tie the cables from the outside and I did this because I've actually mod my PSU and once I turn on the Prus XL I'll show it to you one hand right once I turn on my PSU the camera will come on um, together with the printer so you can see that there gives the I'm not sure whether you can see but P, uh, USB C output and that goes in and as soon as I turn on the um, printer it will turn on as well so what I'm going to do right now I have it connected to my um, Casa smart plug so I will turn on the printer right now so you can see so it's turned on and you can see on Prusa connect it says the printer is offline there should be a tone Wi-Fi connection successful yeah I'm not sure whether you caught that but it says Wi-Fi connection successful and that's coming out from this um, camera here so I did not purchase the big Buddy 3D camera for Prusa XL because it's big and cumbersome and really I just need like a view of the print bed which is sort of like pointing like that but I can show you how you know um, the view of it quickly there is limited function on the actual web interface where you can see here where you cannot really have much yeah you can see it has it has gone live you can see my leg there's a bit of a lagging but over here you can see the view of the webcam so on the web interface there's no live streaming which is a bummer but if you have the um, mobile app you can live stream it so what I'm going to do is show you my phone screen so you can see now that it is on and there you go so I'm not sure whether you can see but yeah there's this function where stream on local network it's a bit buggy sometimes but most of the time if you're on your local network it should work fine but like like you, like you see here so see if you know in terms of the lagging it's it's actually not too bad right now you can see yeah I would say you know one second delay but for local streaming is good enough and if you install the micro SD card you can actually do time lapse I I didn't do it because I you know I never find a need for it and uh, there are some of the functions that you can choose volume changed yeah you can just about hear it see volume changed volume changed volume changed volume changed yep so yeah that's it really so i just want to show you quickly how the prusa connect worked and it works brilliantly for my prusa xl on the mobile app and I did also use um, you know this easy print function when I know what's loaded and the beauty of you know having that as well well not beauty but the the viewing angle allows me to see roughly not sure whether you can see but yeah roughly on here like what 
the, the filament is loaded and how much left very very roughly but yeah hope you find this useful